you are probably wondering what makes it better than other robot vacuums. It actually washes the mops with hot water, cleaning mops in hot water helps to prevent the musty smell that can plague some other robot vacuums with self-washing stations because they usually don't clean the mopping pads thoroughly. I actually had that issue with two other mopping robot vacuums that I tested and let me tell you it is a huge problem uh, because in the end they usually leave my floors dirtier than before. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Julie and I'm super excited to dive into today's video because I've got something pretty exciting to share with you. So if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. Today we're gonna talk about a game changer in the world of robot vacuums, the Ecobank D-Bot T20 Omni Robot Vacuum and Mop. Now I've had my fair share of robot vacuums, but this one has a few features that are completely new and unique on the market. So trust me, you will want to stick around for all the details. First things first, let's talk about the groundbreaking features of the D-Bot T20 Omni. You're probably wondering what makes it better than other robot vacuums. So this robot doesn't just mop, it, it has industry first self-washing with hot water. Yes, you heard it right. It actually washes the mops with hot water, 131 degrees Fahrenheit. And here's why it's so important. For those of you wondering why 131 degrees Fahrenheit is the best temperature for hot water, it's because it effectively cleans majority of stains. Animal and oil stains have a melting point around 113 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Those stains are like just dirt, food residues, and kitchen grease. So the stains with a melting point typically around 113 and 122 degrees Fahrenheit are found in common household dirt, food residues, and kitchen grease. So the 131 degrees Fahrenheit hot water efficiently removes majority of stains without causing starch to gelatinize, which can be a problem at higher temperatures. This innovate function heats up the water to efficiently remove oil and stains from the mopping pads. This results in a much better mopping performance compared to cold water washing. Plus, cleaning mops in hot water helps to prevent the musty smell that can plague some other robot vacuums with self-washing stations because they usually don't clean the mopping pads thoroughly. I actually had that issue with two other mopping robot vacuums that I tested and let me tell you it is a huge problem uh, because in the end they usually leave my floors dirtier than before and then I ended up scrubbing my floors manually with a brush uh, which usually takes me uh, days, literally days, so it's exhausting. So I really appreciate that the Debot T20 Omni does a much better job at cleaning those dirty, and honestly gross mopping pads. Okay, but that's not all. The other feature of the D-Bot T20 Omni is the intelligent auto lift mopping. And that feature simplifies carpet cleaning in a whole new way. You don't have to worry about getting your carpet wet because the robot knows what to do. It helps rotation, lifting the mopping pads nine millimeters above shorter carpets. This height is sufficient for majority of carpets, ensuring your carpets stay dry. And to quickly explain why we need a higher mop lift, it's because different carpets have different pile heights. Low pile carpets are typically under a quarter inch and high pile carpets are between half inches and three fourth inches. So the higher the mop lift, the better. It's less likely to touch your carpets, make them wet or stain them. The mop stops rotating when it meets the carpet and then automatically lifts up, increasing the suction power and the pressure on the carpet. So. It basically makes sure that your carpet will be vacuumed properly without making it wet. With this robot, you don't have to worry about setting no mopping zones. Your carpets will be recognized by the robot and then automatically it will lift the mopping pads and maximize the suction power. So in a nutshell, the Ecovax Debot T20 Omni Robot Vacuum and Mop is perfect for anyone looking to maintain a clean, beautiful home without breaking the bank because it is much cheaper than the Roborock S7 Pro ultra and it provides a better mopping experience. I'm gonna be testing this robot vacuum for the next few weeks so I'm gonna be preparing a full review. So if you are looking for a robot vacuum that also mops and does much better job than other robot vacuums on the market, this is it. This is probably the best mopping robot vacuum that I've seen on the market. I wish more robot vacuums would implement a hot water station. I think it is important, like, if you think about it, when you were mopping your floors, like, you always used hot water. Like, I never mopped my floors using cold water. So, it is kind of a no-brainer that, like, that's gonna 
just do a better job. So I think that's a future that I'm hoping to see in some other robot vacuums on the market. Hot water just helps to remove more stubborn stains. Like I can see that with the rubber Curibo that I've been testing for a few months now, the mopping pads are much better than just, you know, the, the cloth that they used to come with the Rubber Rock S7. But still, even though the rotating spin mops are much better, I wish it was using hot water. I feel like my floors would be so much cleaner. So I really appreciate that Ecovax actually came out with this idea and started implementing it in their robot vacuums. So yeah, if you are looking for a robot vacuum that is much better at mopping your floors, if you want to rely mostly on your robot vacuum to mop your floors, I think this is a better choice. So I'm gonna link this robot in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. And if you are curious, if you wanna see my full review, I'm gonna be testing this robot for the next few weeks. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you have any questions or you wanna share your experience with the D-Bot D20 Omni, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for more reviews coming your way. And I'll catch you soon in the next one. Bye-bye.